Hi, welcome again to 5 Minute Revit. Today's tips and tricks is about scope boxes, how to use scope boxes and how to use the scope boxes to manage the view and to manage also the datum element. Let's see how it's work. I have here uh, out of the box uh, template and uh, I have here this scope box is uh, uh, name grids and levels and I have here some grids here and if i move my scope box here i see that i can move the uh, reference plan also because the reference plan they are managed by scope box if i see here and scope box and grids and levels if i select both this and i just make none you see here that they are not managed by the scope box. Let's see how I can uh, make that work. I select here this grid and I select here all instance and I put that in grids and levels. Now you see that the grids extend. Now if I came here, I can manage all my grids and also if I put the levels also if I came here and you see here this is very important I don't see uh, my scope box and I don't see levels and grids if I came here the reason why you see here this is the cut plan for this elevation and here I have my scope box the reason why it doesn't intersect if I make them intersect like that and let's select here now they intersect if I go to my elevation now I see them I see the scope box I see the levels and grids and this behavior we can control this behavior if we I come back here to this level and I bring it back now I cannot see if I I cannot see my levels and grids and it, I cannot see the scope box and if I select the scope box and I go to view visibly now I have this magic dialog box this magic dialog box scope box views and I see here all my views in here elevation and if I came to the east elevation, I see invisible and also other elevation, they are invisible by default. And if I come here, I say scope boxes are automatically visible in 3D views and other views where they intersect. We see that here with the cut plan. And the other side that if I want to not move my scope box and still see that in this elevation is elevation i can go back here and select my scope box edit and now i can go to s here and i can override you see here i can override invisible and make it visible without moving or without the intersection i can force that to see that here this is uh, the first behavior that uh, we can use to manage the levels and grids and uh, some troubleshooting that we can get with scope box now if you see here i have this crap region the, the this is the other behavior and the other way that we can use scope box to manage our views and if i want to move the crap region i can't the reason why this view if I come here to the property of this view and I see here, I see the scope box control the crop region. The reason why I cannot now, if I, I move that and I move that, I can now move my crop region here. And this is the scope box view overall. We can rename that. There is no problem with that. And if I want to get back, if I want this scope box to control my views, I can easily come to this property of these views. And I came here overall. And now I see that even I can make it invisible in here. And now 
I can have a better look. This is how uh, works the scope box. I hope this video helped you to understand how to use the scope boxes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel 5 Minute Rivets. That's help us to continue producing more video to explain to you how the rivets work and how you can manage the rivet tools. Thank you.